One thing I've noticed about myself, I think, you know, thoughts is powerful in all facets. Because even my career, even my life, you know, things end up turning out exactly how I visualized it. Not in this time frame I expected. You always want shit to happen overnight. But I just had clear visions. And uh, your thoughts are powerful. That shit come to life if you stick to your script. It's about seeing long term, seeing a vision, understanding that nothing really worthwhile happens overnight. And just stick to your script long enough to make something real happen. The main, most important thing, number one, is you gotta get rid of doubt. If you got doubt what you're doing, it's not gonna work. You know what I'm saying? And the way to do that is you have a plan. It's not like just a pipe dream. You have a step-by-step list of things to do to get to your goal. You Rest in peace, Nook. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. We back another week. Another episode. BYOB, the podcast. It's a real, a real fucked up. It's a tough day, man. Somber ass, tough ass, emotional day right here, man. The world lost a great person today, man. One of the one of the best people on this planet, man. Yeah, this shit deeper than rap. This shit a lot deeper than rap. But rest in peace, Nipsey, man. This shit is yeah, man. Like. This shit's surreal. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? This shit is like I feel like I knew this man personally, man. Yeah. His music was clutch. He was so consistent musically. But man, even bigger than that, he was trying to uplift us as a people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like I this shit crazy, man. He was trying to uplift us as a people, man. And they took that man from us today. Got one great album out the man. Second one on the way. Which I feel like is going to be a great album too. Just because he's... The consistency <laughs> at the shit he was driving out the victory lap was still... Everything. Victory lap worthy. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was still staying on pace with everything, man. Like... This is a man that invested in his community, invested in his people. Yeah, man. Was educating his people, employing his people. And somebody just... They took him from us. Cut that shit short. 33 years old. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I mean, he just gave us the great album, man. Victory Lap was so fire. Yeah. The mixtapes before that were fire too, though. Crenshaw, Slauson Boy 2. Mailbox Money. Mailbox Money. <laughs> like, anyway, it ain't how we wanted to start off the day, man, but that shit happened. No. no. I mean, I thought we was only going to come in here and talk about one death, man. We got two, two people that I actually followed. <laughs> for a long time, man. Yeah, I, I actually followed both of their careers. And um, the other person, uh, Tech Nine, the battle rapper. Yeah. A lot of people, you know what I mean? Was confused. Confused about the, between the, the two. Music. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't watch battle rap, I guess, or whatever they, whatever their reasoning was. Um, and see, I'm from Philly, so. Yeah, you already is. That hit on for me, too, man. So, yeah, definitely rest in peace, Tech, too. That shit happened. That shit was wild, but. And not even to take away from Tech Def, because again, that was that was really big. But this Nipsey shit is just because it's it was so unexpected. I mean, no nobody ever expects yeah, a murder. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like an assassination, if you ask me. If you ask, yeah, but nobody ever expects that. But you know, this shit was unexpected. It's certain other rappers like. God forbid it happens to anybody, but you could probably like live. You would be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like that's fucked up, but I could see that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it don't make it no better if it was somebody else, but No, no, I don't. Cause death is death. I don't wish death on nobody, but man. To to but hear t- that. Like uh, let's a nigga be real, it's like kill Nipsey. Yeah. It's like 
Like you said, somebody killed Takashi, you'd have been like, "Damn, that shit fucked up." Like yeah, you know what I'm saying, that shit horrible. Up, but but they, you'd have looked at him like, yeah. you know what? I probably understand why somebody exactly. killed Takashi. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you don't understand why you killed a that, nigga man. killing Nipsey. That's like, bro, in front of the store, in front of the kids and shit, nigga. Like you bold. Yeah, his daughter was out there. Like him. they had the picture of. I, I assumed the little girl to be his daughter that was in yeah. the picture with him. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit is just is is fucked up, man. I'm like, killing the good people, man. No, and the crazy shit is, I don't, uh, like, you know, celebrity deaths, you know, they happen yeah, they every happen. year, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them, I'd be like, God damn, word, such and such died? Yeah. Like, certain people, like Uncle Phil, like, certain people, Michael Jackson, yeah. like, certain deaths, he's just like, you'd be like, damn, like, that's crazy. But, like, this shit hit me. Like, Nip, I feel like, I grew up with this nigga. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I don't know. I ain't never felt this way, you know what I'm saying, about no motherfucking celebrity death before that I never had, like, no kind of dealings with like that, you know what I'm saying? So, I wonder if this is how people felt when, when Pac died, man. Yeah. Like, I understand how some of these, how some of these people felt when Michael Jackson died. Like, yeah. they, they was tore. Prince, like, Whitney, uh, like, did, people was fucked up. Yeah. But this shit is, like, fucking me up. Cause it's like, who the fuck would want to kill this man? Like outside the conspiracy theories, but yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Outside of the conspiracy theories, like who would want to kill? And I'm not a big conspiracy theorist, but you know, certain shit just start to look suspect that it happens too many times, and coincidence only happens, but so often. Yeah, and then some random fucking dickhead. I ain't about to get this nigga no shine, but already on Instagram, like already. Talking about like, I did it, uh, yeah, whatever, my nigga. Like, hey, y'all, y'all, young niggas, man, stop clout chasing, please. Stop it. That shit is gonna get you killed or locked up. That shit is gonna get you put in the fucking grave. There are rules, uh, early grave. There are rules and codes that the streets have written for years that you have to abide by. Niggas ain't playing, man. So even if that young nigga on Instagram talking that shit didn't really do it, somebody is going to bust his shit. They not going to care if he, if if he, he did, did it or not. Because you, you was disrespectful enough to say that you did it. Yeah. So, everything in the game, man. Everything in the game. So. But yeah, I mean. This shit crazy, man. Pray for our communities, man. This shit is like, yeah, yeah. this shit. Make sure his legend live on. That's the best thing I can say. Like take, the positive shit of his legend. Like look up a lot of his interviews and take take his words and his advice and try to make yeah. his legend live on, man. Facts. Let's, let's so, buy back our communities. And I've seen so much shit on Twitter. Like, man, it's like people wait for shit like this to just be a just be ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Like, like bro, if you don't care, whatever the case, my nigga, shut the fuck up. That's it. Just shut the fuck up. It ain't that hard to shut the fuck like, up. Like every time, it's, like you can't even pay respect no more. It's like you ain't you ain't know this person or yeah. like my nigga. You don't, you it's, it's called paying respects. Like if a motherfucker grandma die, and yeah. you be like, yo, my condolences to your grandma. That's fucked up. Niggas ain't gonna be like you ain't know his grandma. Fuck you telling him. Like you know what I'm saying. Like yeah. a nigga can't pay respect. Like you know what I'm saying. So that shit, people just get ignorant, man. Then. I don't know. I might get backlash for it, but this shit crazy. Like the the most of the hateful shit I seen is from the LGBT community, yeah. or whatever the whatever they let us like. You know what I'm saying? But most of the hatred yeah. I've I've physically seen myself yeah. from them. They think Nick was homophobic, and that's because some shit he said was taken out of context. That's all. Um, so I might, you know what I'm saying, we might play that clip where he tried to explain it on the Breakfast Club how the statement yeah. was taken out of context. If you, yeah, yeah if you can find that, that, let's yeah, if you can find that, let's run that clip. But most of the stuff I seen was from that, and like, <laughs> I admit, matter of fact, I got it. Yeah, let's run that. No oh, man, hey, for the record, come on, man, I live in L.A. I'm in the music industry. You going? I, I can't. There's no way I could have take issue with anybody's sexuality. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, I got people in my family. I got people I love. My homegirls. Some of the you know people that I grew up around. That you know that's their lifestyle. I could never judge nobody for for their sexuality. What they what they took out of context was a critique on the media. I made a critique on the media, and I was really 
speaking toward what my homeboy Big U did for the kids mm -hmm. and the image of, you know, somebody that came from prison, that came from gang culture, what, what, what the image gets portrayed as around that type of individual and what this, this, this person's actually doing. And, you know, I think that it was taken out of context, um, you know, and that's a, that's a sensitive thing. I would never want people to feel alienated or like, damn, you know, an artist that I'm inspired by or look up to or somebody I respect might look at me as less than. That's not what I mean, you know what I'm saying? And I think it just got taken out of context. And, you know, it's a movement right now for, like, acceptance and mm -hmm. equality. So, you know, there's a whole machine built behind. <laughs> so... And that's that. Yeah, let's put that to rest. That man wasn't a homophobic. He ain't had no problem with gay people. At all. Uh, but even at the end of the day, you, everybody's not going to be accepting of your lifestyle, and you got to learn to accept that in life. You're yeah, not going to accept all the shit I do in my life, and I accept that. So. And that's the thing. Like, <coughs> It don't matter what your lifestyle is. Whether it's that or a gang affiliation or if you make money playing video games. like, There's going to be somebody that don't. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that don't agree with the shit you do. So take that with a grain of salt, but Yeah, there's people that's like they probably looking at Zion like, oh, he should stay in school to get yeah. an education instead of going to the NBA. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's, it's just yeah. it's always gonna be somebody that got something to say. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So <coughs> Um, you know what I really hate though? That I realize at times like this, I fucking hate TMZ, yo. Yeah. I hate TMZ. Yeah. And I hate TMZ for multiple reasons. Um, if you ever read the com if you ever read the comments and the articles on TMZ, y'all some racist motherfuckers, yo. Like them no. comments under there are there the most ignorant shit I ever see it's is under ignorant news articles or TM like shit like that. Y'all just I mean, y'all let y'all racism show any given chance y'all get. And that shit is wild. It doesn't bother me. I sit back and laugh at it because you're fucking stupid, but y'all yeah. really let that shit show. And we know eight to nine out of ten of them won't say that, that shit, shit to real, nobody's yeah. face. Not at all. I say eight to nine because you got them. I done seen a couple of videos where they... <laughs> I respect that, Where though. they done did it. I mean, they got knocked the fuck out, but I respected the fact that they knew... <laughs> yeah. You stand, you stand on your happen. word. So. Um, but the other reason I really fucking hate DMZ... It's because when shit like this happen, man, we got to rely on them as the news source for the most part. Yeah, they, I don't know how the fuck they do it, but they always seem to be the ones that get the information first. They have not been wrong yet, I want to say. Not on no major shit like this. No. Like on deaths. As far, yeah, I'm no, talking about just yeah. as far as celebrity deaths. Yeah, no, they're not. Like, I don't, I don't believe that they have been wrong yeah. once. Well, it, and if it has been like once, maybe twice, yeah. like... So I hate the fact that I'm trying to look up updates for this shit, and the first thing that pops up is TMZ website. TMZ yeah. website. Like, Most was y'all niggas shit. out there when the shit? Like, the fuck happened? Well, y'all was out there when the shit happened. Like, how do y'all get first news on every fucking thing? Well, you know they buy articles from people. So like, if something was to nah, happen and somebody paying, was there, like they paying people under the table and shit. Well, that too. One of the two. Like, know what I'm saying? But yeah, if something happens to somebody, like a sex tape. Something yeah. like what happened to Nipsey or just whatever the case, like you hit TMZ, they gonna give you some money to break that story. Oh first. yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so we gotta find a different news outlet and get the fuck away from TMZ, y'all. Yeah, TMZ, media takeout, fucking world stuff, like all of them, they all like in the same bracket to me as far as that goes. Yeah, we just need a real life, just straight factual. But they said that, you know, the... What makes it even more wild is, down. like, when you try to leave a comment under TMZ shit, they have to approve them shits. Yeah. So TMZ approving all these racist ass comments. Yeah. I mean, look who... That's why. Like, besides besides Van and, <clears throat> like, two or three other people, who the fuck works at TMZ? Van got to get hold of their social media or something, man. Like, you got to do. I feel like Van would be better off without TMZ, honestly, but that's just my personal opinion. <laughs> That that hopefully that's my goal for twenty nineteen or somebody somebody do it. I would like to see it done for the end of the year. Let's get a yeah. a good media source 
and get the fuck away from TMZ. Yeah, hey, if I had the financial backing to just take a hundred flights every day and just be out there, I would do it. Hire a team <laughs> to run around the country would, and do that. Shit. I would do it. That I'm saying, like, I would do that shit. So, but yeah, man. Um, On a random light note, did you see Will Will Smith did some shit like that? On his Instagram, what's so, that? Social media doesn't deserve Will Smith to begin with. Nah, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, they don't. Will Will probably the most entertaining thing. Or so, or so. I don't even yeah. want to say person because I think he's bigger than a person now. Yeah. Like he's the most entertaining entity on social media. So uh, the nigga from TMZ, he was pulling out of somewhere. The nigga from TMZ was standing on the curb trying to get a picture and talk to him. He was like, "Man, I ain't with that shit." So then he took his own camera and filmed himself going around for the day and he called it like WMZ. <laughs> like Will Media. So he took he took over his shit for a day. Like I'm not about to let them get the article first. I'm gonna do this shit myself. Yeah, dog. No, the illness, <laughs> I knew I knew Will Smith was a real nigga when I seen um he was shooting CeeLo. Who the fuck was he shooting with? Um Cause he got a little show on Facebook before, you know what I'm saying? I was watching it before they uh d- that ain't funny. Before they deleted my shit. <laughs> Bro, that shit ain't funny. But yeah, uh, I, I used to watch it. Like it's like he got like a little bucket list show where like he motherfucking he go skydiving, he yeah. does stand up comedy with Dave Chappelle. Matter of fact, I think it was that episode. But he was, I think I want to say they was in Philly, but they was somewhere, and he was like, "Yo, with the dice." He was dead ass, and the nigga was like, "Yo, Will head cracked me last time." Like, Will is <laughs> he still shoot dice? Really man. shooting dice. <laughs> Never lose your dice, man. Like, try to find some some brighter news, man, just to take the the heavy off the situation. I have some very, just... very, very bright news. I mean, it bright in my day to fuck up. Duke has been eliminated from the NCAA tournament. My yo, that is some very great news. That is that bright in my shit up. Yeah, before he gets his rebuttal, I'm gonna go ahead and eight mile this shit. Yeah, the Tar Heels got sent home. It is what it is. So go ahead. Fuck Carolina. Tell these people something they don't know about me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that Carolina got sent home in the Sweet 16 and not the Elite Eight like Duke did. That's what I tell you. I tell you. Hey, that. look, man. I, I tell you like, that that shit happened on my birthday. That shit was magical. Hey, if you gon' if you gonna bullshit, you might as well bullshit early and not get further into it and nah. bullshit. That's a weak excuse. That's nah, weak that you. Excuse. That's a weak team. I know UNC's a weak team. Nah, Duke. So. None of these teams are eliminated. I think UVA going to win that tournament. I think Virginia going to win it. To see they're going to beat them or Gonzaga. Who the fuck else is going to Michigan State is not beating Gonzaga. Yo, I'm tired, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit mad random. That shit just hit me. Yeah, niggas just getting old. I had a long birthday weekend, man. Shout out to yeah. Atlanta. Happy birthday. To, oh, yeah, it was to, my birthday to, Friday, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm 33. I mean, Which makes it even more crazy because Nipsey just died at thirty three, and it's like, damn, yeah, this Jesus year. What if my, what if my life ended tomorrow? Yeah, dog. Age, you know the crazy done, thing? I ain't really done shit in life like that. Like, like people tell me it's strange, but it ain't like the literal meaning of what I'm about to say. But I think about dying every day, but not like I think about like, like dying like yo, I want to die. But I think about dying every day like. At least once, like once a day, dying comes up, but it's not on some like depressing shit. Yeah, it's more so like yo, nigga, I don't want to go before mm-hmm. I accomplish something. Like I think I think about dying. Like yo, I could go at any time. Like I have to make this happen or that. Ha- I gotta make something happen. You know what I'm saying like, and it's the truth. You know what I'm saying. Get your affairs in order, man. I think that's the best advice I can give people. It, buy life insurance, man. Shit like twenty five dollars yeah, a month. You definitely like, got to. It's easier to have people having to set up a GoFundMe and shit. Yeah. Yo, and another thing, I wanna I don't I don't wanna fucking even though shit is deserving, but I don't wanna make the whole podcast about death nip or death, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I just say death. Um But nah, like the the pattern of how like these rappers die outside of just like of course you know it'd be murder but it's always in their own they own motherfucker where they grew up or where they man, own city man front like it's all it's never i mean outside of like biggie and pop you know what i'm saying yeah you know but we know what those were yeah. but you know what i'm saying like but for the most part it's <clears throat> chinks stack bundles nipsey hustle 
like you name them, yeah. most of the, it was in their own Dobie. Um, That's wild. Little Snoop. Yeah. Me, like it's always in your own, your own backyard. It's always your own hometown. You get the most hate where you live, man. So that shit. Boosie said that shit. Boosie told Boosie told us a while ago. Most rappers gonna die within their own city. Yeah. And it's sad that you can't. I can understand if you was doing bullshit in your city. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You you get big and you go back to your city, you still on some bullshit. Yeah. But Nipsey just showed us that you can't even give back to your community. Like my nigga was in the hood giving back. Yeah. And you still smoke. Like he won't What do you want He won't violent do? like he won't like banging no more. Like of course, you yeah. know, it was what it was, his affiliations and shit, but he won't like out there like yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's always that that hometown hate. You know what I'm saying? It's hometown hate. Like, and the, the fucked up thing is, it's, it's like a damn if you do, damn if you yeah, don't. you don't. Because if you, if you leave, niggas is like, oh, he don't do yeah, nothing. He don't, he, fuck with he don't fuck with us. He don't do nothing. And then you come back and like, you come back to do something. Niggas want to do whatever to you because they feel like, oh, you only coming back now because we said something. Yeah. But if you don't leave, Niggas is at your neck anyway. So it's like a damn if you do, damn if you don't. So shit, nigga. If you're going to do for your community, do for your community outside your community. Outside your community, <laughs> B. Like, and I know that shit sound fucked up to no, say. Like, don't. That shit sounds smart as a Yeah, bitch. that's what I'm saying. But you know, some yeah, people you like. you get rich enough to leave your hood, leave your fucking yeah. hood, and then you just help your hood. You, you can still put money into Facts. it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like most niggas. Facts. And, and Nip. Never struck me as one of them, but most niggas still go back to their hood just to show that they can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think you gotta do that shit, really. he was there because it was a comfort there. Like, he was... He was good there. He didn't have no static. Yeah. He didn't have no issues with nobody. Blood or crip or whatever the case. Everybody like, respect him. It was respect from whoever, wherever. You know what I'm saying? So, that shit just... That hometown hate, man. <coughs> fucked up. Mm. But um, yeah, lighter news. Did you see the J Cole photo shoot for GQ? I did. That was a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was last week. Nigga was dressed like Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was terrible. Somebody said he definitely just dropped his daughter off at soccer practice. <laughs> he was, for, dr- he was <laughs> dressed how he rapped. <laughs> hey man, don't come at don't come at Cole. I'll fight you right now. J. Cole is the the most Bro. talented born nigga ever. Yo. They used to say the same shit about Nas, man, and, and how do we view Nas now? Nas is a talented born <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I refuse, I will not listen to J. Cole on a road trip, fam, because I know I'm going to sleep. You gonna crash the whip. It's over. He's good on other people's features. Like, you yeah, put been, him on, he he put him on a feature. Features lately. The production, but I don't understand it. Yeah. He really rapped like he just got out of bed, which is like, fuck it, I'm going to just do this shit today. Because I ain't got nothing else to do. No. And then he does his own production, which makes it even worse. So he do boring <laughs> production to go with his boring rhyme. Like, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that J. Cole can't rap. I know J. No, Cole can of rap. Of course, but. of course. Just, like I said, they say the same thing about Nas, and I dare a nigga to say Nas can't rap. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say. But that. no, the fucked up thing is somebody was trying to tell me Nas was born, and I was, I'm going to war. Like man, nigga, Nas, Nas ain't that. Boop, boop, boop. The nigga showed me <laughs> a concert clip of Nas. This nigga for like ten minutes, he didn't get up. Like he was sitting on like some steps. You know, you know they doing that Dreamville Fest in, in uh, Carolina. So I, I think I went to dope. go get tickets, and them shits was no, over I'm with. I'm sure. But, which is dope. I'm glad he giving back to this area. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But them shits was them tickets was over with. I went to go as soon as I seen it because I found out late. I found out like a week ago. Right. I went to go get tickets. That shit, was, <coughs> shit was like nah, buddy. I feel like J Cole closing out his Dreamville Fest is like when you at the club <laughs> and the DJ <laughs> and the DJ put on the slow jams at the end of the night after all the real fun is over. So you, you know you about to go, go let my nigga live. <laughs> That's how so you just not gonna let Cole live. Nah, man. Nah, yeah. man. I don't. I don't. I don't agree. I, no, I, 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 I believe his live set is probably dope. I believe his live set is probably dope. I mean, you seen what he did at the uh, halftime yeah, show? Yeah, the NBA shit. I believe it. Can't say he didn't smoke that shit. Yeah, no, I believe his performance is probably dope. 
But yeah, I um Yeah, he I guess he would be what you expect Wiz to be. But I mean Wiz obviously not that. Wiz is like, yo, for a pothead, that nigga's mad energetic. No, I'm saying, but I got mad. Energy think about all sometimes. the other. Think about all the other pothead rapper niggas though. They're not energetic at all. They really are. Like currency got mad energy. I'm talking about music wise. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm talking about just musically. Yeah, man. Yeah, nah, I right. fuck with currency. That nigga's. He's another one of them funny Instagram niggas, man. That nigga's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Currency's funny nigga. But yeah, oh, speaking of Wiz, shout out to Wiz, yo, for that fucking Oreo commercial. I mean, that shit probably been out for months, I don't know, but Wiz has an Oreo commercial. I haven't seen it. He's rapping. I, I don't. With, he's, he's playing with his son, and he's doing, like, the music over that shit. It's Oreo. I gotta see it. That you know what kind of endorsement he probably <coughs> got from Oreo? Oh, yeah, man, you gotta get the money where you get the money. Nah, I mean, I think that's dope, like, because yeah. Wiz is not a nigga that, like, you would normally feel like Oreo would go after. No, Wiz got them, Wiz got pop. No, he has, no, yeah. I ain't talking about because of the pop style, I'm talking about just the the weed associations yeah, 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 yeah. and shit like that, but then I thought about it, I'm like, well, shit. They go hand in hand, baby. <laughs> get high, need some Oreos. Nigga, Oreos is probably top three motherfucking snacks. Yeah, man, with some cookies and some milk. That's because weed is just becoming more acceptable. Yeah, that's a fact. It's weed definitely is um, more acceptable. It's becoming more mainstream. And I'm cool with that. It's becoming more mainstream. Random, I might be late. Um, so I know it's been open for a while. Like I said, I was in Atlanta this past weekend. I went to the Trap House. Oh, the, the Trap, Trap Museum? Museum. Yeah, yeah, Trap Music Museum. That shit was dope. That yeah, was I, dope. I haven't been yet. I've Everybody's been but me. So you walk in and this guy is set up by, like the living room of the Trap House. Now you got to <laughs> got jars of weed on the table and guns and you know. Is it prop weed or is it's prop weed? It's prop weed. Oh. You know, T I ain't playing that shit. I mean, they I'm sure they got security, <laughs> so if it ain't prop weed, then you ain't touching it. Well, let's be alarmed though. <laughs> Let me do tell you that that trap museum is located in the trap. That shit is in the bluff. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh shit. I'm cool in the bluff, but yeah. I pulled up and I was like, Oh, this shit is in the bluff. <laughs> let me let me pay to park my car. <laughs> let's have y'all shit. Yeah, because a nigga might come up like, yo, you want to buy this camera? You know what happens after that. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what the fuck, yeah. how the rest of the movie go. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was terrible, man. I gotta watch that movie again. Um, so, yeah, outside of that, um, DJ Khaled's new album coming. <laughs> I think it's going to be the typical DJ Khaled album. I don't think he is not going to be trash. We know that. Yeah, Khaled's album's pretty good. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be trash. So it's going to be the typical is good for DJ Khaled. Khaled usually got some hits on his album. So. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's going to yeah. be the typical album. I won't say it like down. Yeah, yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? Mean. Like, nigga, it's Khaled. Like, Khaled going to deliver. He going to put some shit together. So He is definitely good for that. Um, We need some good music, man. It's yeah, we ain't, had no, we ain't have no like music drop. It's been a while since so we had some like, good music. Two, three, two, three weeks. weeks yeah, man. We need some good music, y'all. Hope y'all getting this ready for the summer. Hope that's what that shit is. Yeah. I know Ross album coming. <laughs> on that. Um, I mean, we got an album that you might enjoy. So you about, I just get the feel you about to say some ignorant shit. I just know you about to say some ignorant shit. Go ahead and say it. No, nah, I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> J. Cole is uh, EP and Young Thug new album. I seen that on Double XL. J. Cole is what? He's executive producing Young, <laughs> Young Thug next album. I seen that on Double like How is that gonna work? It's gonna be fire. <sighs> I gotta hear it. <laughs> yeah, I don't have them niggas ever did a song together. Ain't they have? I don't know. Don't give me the line. I mean, I I'm not really a huge Thug but, fan. Yeah, like, but, I respect the. I have been rocking the uh, the Twenty Five Soldiers John he did with on the Swiss. Oh album. yeah, yeah, yeah. He he fucked that shit up. Swiss album still not like much yeah. later too, which is that's what I would expect that from a Swiss Beats album. Yeah. Well. But yeah, I seen that shit and I was like, I was kind of confused. <laughs> I thought niggas was playing a prank. Like, it's a lot of weird shit going on. I mean, I guess it's a good mixture. Mix that shit up. 
Yeah, Maybe. but I guess niggas just forget. Like Cole is a nigga. He's from the south. He's yeah. a south nigga. He's like, a south nigga. That I guess a... I guess because of his personal music style, niggas expect him to just be around like the Kendricks and the New York niggas and the Big Sean's and shit. Yeah. But he's a nigga. From I need the some south. more music for Big Sean. Oh, yo, he dropped a uh, like a one minute snippet of some new shit he got. Yeah, I need some shit from Sean. So that fire. shit was crazy. Niggas I'll let you play. Is... Yeah, I'll let I'll let you hear it once the. Um, Camera start rolling and shit. We gonna have this debate eventually, but what's that? Sean is up there with Kendrick and J Cole. I've been telling niggas those. that. Like, he's <laughs> hate when I say that. And he, I've he's been up telling that shit. <laughs> like, Sean put words together, man. Crazy. <laughs> that nigga puts words together, and he drops hits like yeah. singles. He dropped fire singles. Yeah. <clears throat> Matter of fact, as far as as far as like singles go. He probably got. He's he's above them. Yeah, he's above. He might be above. As them. far as sing, like radio singles, as far as they go, he's above them. Okay. Wale would have been. Wale has some shit, man. But I think, I mean, I don't. That's how I know J Cole boring. J Cole is the only nigga I know that's more boring than Wale. <laughs> I don't think Wale boring. He's he's not. He's not. He's not. I fuck. With, I fuck with Wale. Nah. He always gonna give you a poem before he raps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I take it. Some of them shits be fired though. They do. Some of them shits be they fired, do. but some of um, like even if some of them even like with the fire, it's like yo, this beat so hard, my nigga. I need you to stop talking and stop yeah. rapping real quick. Some of his poems, feel like he shot a like. <laughs> nah, fuck Wale too. The better my efforts, the wetter your treasure. I'm like sure. he be yeah, shut he... the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, but the shit was dope. But that's how I felt on the inside. I wanted to be like nigga, shut the fuck up. But, I listened to this shit and I was like, this shit hard. Yeah, um, yeah, that's it for music news. Uh, dope shit, Disney own Fox now. We didn't get to talk about that because we well, haven't had a... Oh, you good. didn't know? I didn't know that. So that means they got the rights to all X-Men and all that shit now. So they own Fox. I knew they was. I knew they put the bid in for it. Yeah, so... I knew they put the bid in for it. That's fine. But who the fuck was going to outbid own, Disney? Disney own every fucking... I was like, Disney own every fucking thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like... Outside of like Amazon, who the fuck was gonna outbid Disney? Like realistically, yeah, that's tough. And Disney been trying to get the rights to the rest of the Marvel motherfuckers that Fox owns for how long now? What like ten years? That's crazy. The new Avengers come out in a few weeks. I can't a few wait. weeks. I can't. Nigga, I might just do a whole review on that. Tickets. I don't <laughs> just, know when it's dropped, but tickets go on sale Tuesday, April second. Yeah. So, to all those who are into those movies like us, definitely. Yeah. Make sure you get your ticket early. I'm. I'm definitely in there first night. With the Thor mask on, man. <laughs> this is how you know this shit, rough. I just, like I said, I just got back off the road. I left my actual. I usually don't drink white liquor, so I left my dark liquor, my mm-hmm. cognac, in my bag. This Nipsey shit hit me so. This Nipsey shit hit me so hard, man. I need to drink fucking tequila tonight. Like. Yeah, like yeah, I I can't believe this shit. Um, I don't know the kid in me hyped about Toy Story four. June twenty first. Yeah, but you know that is what it is. Um, so yeah, sports news. Let's run through this shit real quick. Uh, as far as the trades go, who you think made the best like in the last two weeks? What the NFL? My Eagles, of course. Who the fuck? My Eagles are the best fucking team in football, yo. Let's not let's not go that far with with lying, but my Eagles are the best fucking team in football. How many of them fuck? How many of them shits you had? I don't know. I don't know. Pass, <laughs> pass me the lemonade. Look, man. How many, how Carson Wentz is my starting quarterback. We just traded for Jordan Howard. That man rushed for thousand yards. And y'all got that seasons. nigga for a pack of Paul Malls. Well, that's that's it. <laughs> what was it like a six round pick? A like, six it round pick. A, it might be a fifth and a couple million dollars. I was trying to give him the fuck. Well, he was like there. the third in rushing this year, or some shit some, like that. Somewhere up there. So you got Carson Wentz, you got Jordan Howard behind him. On the outside, you got Deshaun Jackson, who's the, probably the quickest receiver in the NFL still. Yeah, you got yeah. Alshon Jeffrey, who has probably the best hands in the NFL, except that fucking drop in New Orleans that cost us the fucking game. That was beautiful. Like, but that's crazy. Y'all went and did all this shit just to fucking... Zach Irk's probably the best tight end in football currently. Gronk gone. Gronk retired. That's big. We didn't yeah, touch that. Gronk, Gronk retired. Grunt retired. I was going to make that a, a, a thing because him and McGregor retired the same day. Yeah, that's major. <laughs> Both of them niggas about to go to the WWE. 
Quote me. I'm telling I, you. I wouldn't doubt it. Well, I already know. I already know Gronk a lot because he he done went there. He done fought a couple matches anyway. You know what I'm saying? But um, Uh-oh. he 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 gonna end up in the WWE somewhere. I know McGregor. He just he want the bread. He got that hundred million dollar payday, and he was just like yeah, fuck fighting. Fuck fighting, bitch. <laughs> A uh, fake fight. Yeah, nigga ain't beating my ass. Again. <laughs> he lost his last two. So, um, but yeah, I mean, y'all did all that shit. The Eagles did all that shit just to get knocked out the second round of the playoffs. I mean, That's well, crazy. It happens, <laughs> and it's only because Alshon dropped the pass. No, I'm talking about this upcoming year. Oh, yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm going to say, y'all doing all that just to if, get knocked out. If you were like, I, look, I'm taking bets before the season start. We can make our bets official come season week four. What's the bet? The Eagles going to win the Super Bowl next year. I got $100 on it. Fuck it. I don't know. I don't. I don't you ain't got to take it because I'm going to bet my $100 on it. I don't, I don't, I don't have a team, so I don't get the. Shout out to Bavada. We need deal sponsorships, but shout out to Bravada. Facts. Online, I, online gambling at its finest. I definitely, uh, Bravada has definitely helped me with <laughs> a couple of situations in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I wish I had an NFL team, but you know, I don't, I don't have that luxury. Must be hard. I mean, the 49ers are right, ain't they? Oh, they still, they still play? Yeah, they still the, an NFL team. The shit I've been seeing, that the motherfuckers just ain't. Didn't y'all, y'all picked us, y'all got Tevin Coleman, didn't y'all? I don't know. I, I honestly haven't been looking. I'm watching this year, though. Yeah. I'm watching this year. Um. Oh, Lonzo Ball, BBB. He left his pops. and his, Not his pops. He left the company. Nah, his pops is still <coughs> banging <laughs> yeah. baseball to brand hard. Yeah. So. But he's still his pops. I mean, you still. can't leave. He, he ain't leaving yeah. his pops. But you, yeah, but he's, he left the his pops company. He's stealing money. I'd have left that shit, too. Nigga, fuck y'all. Yeah, he's lucky that motherfucker. He, Lonzo ain't paid to, <laughs> paid to get him out of there. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was like what, like two million dollars or some shit. Like he embezzled out of that company. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, and that was like, I think like I think it said one point three of that shit was supposed to go to Lonzo, like in his pocket. I knew, see, I knew. I knew. You gotta see me, right? Like, I'm gonna take you to court, get my money first, but then after the court case is over, you gotta see me. I'm gonna knock you out in the parking lot as soon as the court case is over. <laughs> like see? once I see ain't no cops around, like we gonna go to the back of the parking lot, I'm gonna knock you out, and I'm getting out of there. Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna beat your ass, and I'm gonna let you sue me, and I'll just be like, look, just call it even. <laughs> just get him the money. No, the money he's about to give me, get just get back him. Just tell him to keep that shit. <laughs> but yeah, I knew something was fishy when motherfuckers put the orders in for the shoes, and they was like, yeah, them shit's gonna take about eight months. <laughs> You're a dumbass if you ordered them shoes. It was a lot of dumbasses. You are a, a lot dumb- of. First of all, the nigga hadn't played a game in the fucking NBA. Nobody knew what his career was gonna be like. If you were ordering them shoes, you were really a fucking dumbass. Yeah, I, a lot of because it ain't like his college them, career yeah. was that fire. Nah, where them niggas got knocked out in the Sweet Sixteen too? Like, nigga, did they make the Sweet Sixteen? I don't even remember. The, I, just I know they got knocked out early, and they it was bad. Them niggas got to, like blew out that game. Yeah, if you bought them shoes, you are a dumbass. Yeah, them niggas. I don't know. Um, if you bought them shoes and you wore them, you're even worse. The mo- I've seen a couple of niggas on Twitter buying them, and I've seen a couple of celebrities buying them. They claim it was to to support, to support black entrepreneurs and shit, but... You know how many black businesses that are around your way that you can fucking support? Hey, y'all support this nigga who's about to sign for millions of dollars? Fuck out of here. That nigga's a lie. Suck my dick. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sick of people lying. I'm sick of people lying about the simplest <laughs> shit. <laughs> And then they say shit that don't even, it's not logical, man. I would definitely let LeVar Ball be a brand ambassador for me. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I would definitely let that Facts. nigga brand that ambassador smart. for me. Yeah, he, he's that ego. Business wide, did marketing, yeah. he's intelligent. Yeah. Um, They retired Bosch jersey. Who's? Chris Bosch. Miami That's dope. retired his That's jersey. That's dope. And they should. Um, I think he he earned that. He earned that. He definitely earned that. He got he was with them two championships that they got down there. And one of them they would not have got without him. Yeah, that's for a one fact. of them he. That's for a fact. What was it the the second one? The shit where he he showed up more than Bron showed up. Yeah, because the first one the first one they won Bron felt that guilt from getting smacked by Dirk and them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next one Bron kind of went in. Then the third one they kind of got comfortable. 
And Ooh, phew. that's when Bosch and Ray Island showed the fuck up and showed out. But uh <laughs> you wanna touch on this Adrian Broner shit or you wanna just go ahead and I don't look you the only nigga I know that pays attention to Adrian fucking Broner. I forget that Adrian Broner exists. Bro, I know I only Why why do you pay attention to this nigga? For this. Bro, the only reason I pay attention to half of this shit. Didn't we just talk about clout chasing earlier? We just talked about niggas clout chasing earlier. And you gonna bring up this fucking nigga Adrian Broder. What the fuck Adrian Broder say now? Alright, before I before we get into it, I'll let you decide if you want to talk about it. All I'm gonna say is he threatened to kill gay people. (laughs) (laughs) That's not funny. Okay, but that's funny. Okay. (laughs) Killing gay people is not funny. Killing anybody is not funny, but the no, fact that he made the statement. And it's him. It, and it's Adrian Broner. But no, it was more so like. I think I did hear that shit. Though. It was something about like if gay people came. Like if he was like yeah, trying to hit on them or shit. Yeah. shit. He was like, yo, if I don't, if I don't got the 40, I'm going to knock you the fuck out. So it was like, my nigga, you what? I was about to lie. I was about to say you a world class boxer, but obviously. <laughs> <laughs> watch, watch what you say. I mean, so, I mean, he'll fuck a regular nigga up for the most part. My like, question, like, what, but, what, what made that statement happen? <laughs> so, <laughs> do you just walk around and randomly have thoughts of like, nah, man? Yeah, so this gave you, apparently, he was in the. Uh, you remember the I am delivered nigga? The 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 nigga the uh, the I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah apparently, yeah. he was in that nigga's DMs. Yeah, bro. I mean, the jokes, like, yeah, the shit's just writing themselves. Like, in this situation and shit. But apparently, he was in that nigga's DMs. And, uh, that was his response. Like, nigga, I ain't gay, da da da, woo woo. He talking about he was, where he was from and shit, and how that shit don't fly where he from. And that's what so he said. So, what the fuck were you doing in the nigga's DMs? Look, he said that shit never happened. What's the next topic on the list? <laughs> I'm not talking about this nigga. I don't have time for his shit. I... <laughs> hey, man. Rest in peace to Nipsey, man. I'm not paying right. attention to no bullshit right. today. <laughs> about no fuck shit. Like... <laughs> but yeah, man. So Adrian Broner. So he, he want to beat up gay people. But he can't beat no other fucking boxers up. <laughs> The nigga can't do nothing else with the ring. And I had faith in this you nigga, know, too. That's what we call sissies when I was growing up. Nigga, punk. <laughs> you fucking punk. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, yeah, I guess we can go ahead and roll into the topics, topics. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fucking Adrian Broner. Speaking of embarrassment, so somebody told me. Well, I ain't going to say they told me. They requested that this topic. I don't know why. I mean, I, get, I know why, but I don't know why. But most embarrassing sex moment. Whew. Sheesh. As, as men, the shit kind of, ha- it happens. Yeah, it does. It happens. After, after a while, you just learn, like, fuck it, life happens. I'm not eating embarrassed yeah. anymore. Um, <clears throat> yeah, like, I don't, like, my old ones, like, busting too fast or... Yo, nothing is worse than catching a cramp while you fucking. Yeah. Catching a cramp while you fucking is terrible. I think the... The shit that... The drunk dick was it. Like, it was drunk dick. Yeah. It was drunk dick. And I was so drunk that I woke up the next morning still drunk. Like, I didn't try to hit it that night as I passed out. But I woke up the next morning and was still drunk and had drunk dick the next morning. So, it just... It didn't work. Yeah. That shit was embarrassing the motherfucker. I had to tell her, like, look, I need you to give me another shot. Just... Call me tomorrow. <laughs> no, I I think one of the most embarrassing shits I had happened. And that was on the first night too. The was joint bad. was so bad, bro. And I was so excited that my shit wouldn't even <laughs> that bitch wouldn't function. And it's like, yo, I had to, I'm like, yo, this don't normally happen. Like, I was like, yo, the crowd, I was I was young too. I was like 16, 17, bro. Oh man. But yo, she That's was. Tough. 
I've been wanting to, I've been wanting that shit for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So I think the the anxiety. Sometimes of the, you be too excited. It, no, and that shit when you get Sometimes up. Sometimes you be too excited. The crazy thing, I mean, it got up, and then I went to go put the rubber on, and that shit was like, nah. Look, if you want to know if a, a woman is a keeper or not, you gotta let your dick fail once, right? I know that shit sound wild. Oh no, that shit was dead after that. Let, let, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that shit let, was let your dead dick after fail. that. So. A bitch is not a keeper. It's just automatically when your dick don't work, she can be like, mm, "This nigga, you can't." She's not even gonna attempt to suck it to help you get it up. She's just gonna look at you like, "So nigga, your dick not gonna get hard." Like, bitch, you not gonna put your mouth on it. Nothing. You not. It's you not it's a hand job. No nothing. It's quiet for me. So, a bitch is a keeper. Your dick not gonna get hard. She gonna start asking questions like, "Oh, is is it me? Like, what is it?" What's wrong? What can I do? Yeah, and, and I've had that happen, and I'm like, nah, I'm just drunk. Yeah, it ain't. <laughs> Sometimes it's not you. I'm just drunk. Yeah, the most, yeah. I guess the most <laughs> embarrassing thing between that one and, um, yeah, being so drunk that my dick went down in the pussy and I passed out. <laughs> yeah, I was tough. so faded. I was so faded, but. She ain't bounce on me. She stayed to the next morning and got to finish the next morning. And she cooked. Oh yeah, you alright then? And she cooked. She cooked and everything. Like, you destroy a woman probably like that. Hey, fuck a woman for like 30, 45 minutes and she's like, I can't nut. It's just and not that's, happening. It was it was half of that. <laughs> Cause I mean, she was on the shit like, oh, this nigga, he drinking. What he drinking? Know what I'm saying? I want to know what everybody else is. So when y'all see this on YouTube, make sure y'all leave it. Please y'all comment. comment. Yeah, Please leave. comment. What the fuck? <laughs> Y'all shit is. I want to read some of them shits next week because that shit is gonna be fucked up. Facts. So yeah, everybody has a bad a bad sex experience though. So where was yours? Don't try to duck it, nigga. I didn't told some shit that might fucking have. Like I said, my my was the was I was so drunk the night before when I woke up. Oh okay, pretty much the same type. Yeah, of yeah. It's all. It's usually for men. That's pretty much the most embarrassing shit that can happen. Like I'm trying to fucking my dick don't work. Yeah, like busting fast ain't not, embarrassing. Like women gotta understand that our dicks don't work like y'all vaginas work. Yeah. Like y'all can just lay there and once you get aroused, your pussy gonna get wet. <laughs> Bitch, I can be horny as shit on the inside and my dick just don't agree with me, and he's like, "Yeah, bro, it's not gonna happen right now." And that's it. And I'm, this is finished. And I'm good for you know two rounds occasionally, but sometimes women want that second round, and I just be looking at my dick like, "Hey, bro, what are you trying to do?" And he's just like, "Nah, I'm not in the fight." <laughs> Forget that. I'm not in the fight. <clears throat> no, I can't just make my dick get hard. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like some of the the, the best worst shit is when, like when you get a hotel for like a weekend, and main the hotel is mainly just to fuck. Like when you younger yeah, yeah, and yeah. shit, and that's literally all she want to do. And now you just <laughs> dick sore as a bitch. Look, like <laughs> you done fucked like nine times. You better go get a ride on nine thousand from the gas station. Better go get a gas station dick pill and knock them walls off, bro. Oh no, nah, this, this shit still <laughs> motherfucking functioning. The motherfucker just you done fucked the goddamn eight yeah. times. A gas station in less pill. than twenty four hours, and I ain't talking about like oh let's quick round two. I'm talking about like time has passed in between the fucks, and y'all just fucking like yeah, eight I've had, times. I, sex sexcapades, pretty are, much are fun. But them shit start to hurt after a while, man. Like, after you busted six and seven nuts, like, them shit start to hurt. That's what I mean. When I say you shit sore, like, that, that shit there. That yeah, shit hurt, fam. Yeah, I'm good. The only thing... The only thing that probably hurt worse than that is, like, legit blue balls. I have never had blue balls in my life. Thank God. Uh, I'm not fortunate enough to say the same. I haven't had it... For, yo, the crazy thing is, I haven't... I. I got my shit from, uh, <laughs> my shit ain't come from not fucking. <laughs> my shit came from goddamn fucking too long and I just, the pussy just oh, yeah. won't dare so it just wouldn't. That sounds terrible. I ain't, yeah, that shit, trash <laughs> pussy is terrible. The one time I thought I was going <laughs> to have blue balls, I went to the Magic City in Portsmouth. <laughs> the lap dance side, this is way back in like 2004, 2000, yeah. I was still young, so. Went to the lap dance side of Magic City. It was like a Monday. I had just had a bad day at work. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and they got some lap dance. She started giving me a hand job and shit. Because that's what they did. 
Um, typically strippers. Yeah, yeah, typically strippers, especially in Magic City and Portsmouth. Um, the guy got in my car. I was like, you know what? This boner is not going to make it home. Pulled over into a random neighborhood in Portsmouth on the side of the road. Yo, man. get the fuck. And the road went out me. Like, fuck that. This shit got to go. <laughs> Yo, so what the fuck you would have did if the police would have pulled up? Like, and you ain't yeah. see like not with the lights though. Yeah, like they just happen to pull up just to kind you don't of. Don't think about shit like that when you're young. It's the invincible shit. Like <laughs> you just sitting there getting right, and you just hear a goddamn. Everybody has done some dumb shit for a nut. Sir, can you roll down the window? Oh yeah, I've definitely done some. Every shit. if everybody has done some dumb shit to get a nut, <laughs> men and women. Definitely, I've definitely went through some like especially when I was young. Yeah. Cause you know when you young you read you, oh you getting away some pussy. Bitch, okay. I, what I gotta do? I, I, I gotta jump through the ring of fire. Like, I done walk like five miles. Yeah. Some, I done did some crazy shit. So you say, yeah, your mom, you get home at three, and your mama get home at three forty-five, but I gotta be at the house at three fifteen because your little sister, like some bullshit. You just nigga, you skip school just to walk there, just to start walking at twelve o'clock. What's your back? Because you know that shit gonna take you about three hours. What's the What's the furthest you ever traveled for some pussy? Like travel, travel, or like on foot? Really? Speaking <laughs> <laughs> of me hiking for pussy. <laughs> My nigga, we not going to act like in high school you ain't take no motherfucking trots for pussy. I mean, they weren't long trots, so nigga, I was fat. I wasn't this. <laughs> no, I wasn't taking long trots in high school. I, I mean, these people not going to know these distances because... I mean, some, but, some, a lot will, but I walk from motherfucking Green Run to Tarwood. <laughs> like, high school to high? Like, nigga, that's a. I mean, I guess you, no, actually. Nigga, it's like a five hour walk, man. Not high school to high school. Like, I'm talking about my nigga, because I stayed by Green Run, but I walk past Tarwood, like to Tarwood Apartments by fucking uh, city, city. Even if you walk city all the park. way down, Lent, nigga, that's like a... Matter like of fact, you know that elementary like school... like a half a day walk. You know the elementary school beside City View Park? The fake-ass Mount Trashmore? I mean, there you go. Them apartments. So I walk from, I guess you could say Green Run High School to those apartments. I'm going to tell y'all, driving is like a 15-minute drive. No, or, it, it might. No. It's probably. It's probably even more than that. Yeah, that shit is like twenty. Yeah, I man, that's what a good day with no traffic. And I, no, and the crazy thing is, nigga, I had to walk down Farrell Parkway. That nigga drawing. He walking down a, a four lane highway. That nigga. And the speed limit, like it's, it's like sixty miles. <laughs> it's a highway. Oh, he's bugging. I walked down Farrell. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was wilding. I mean, I got it. I just slept in that shit. But yeah, as far as traveling. Yeah, I, mean, I meant like actual traveling though. This yeah, thing. I mean, niggas take flights every day, B. I thought, I was, I thought that was wild. Niggas take flights every day. So what's the first you ever traveled? Like strictly for the pussy? Mm-hmm. I guess Boston. Was it the first time fucking? Yeah. Oh, man. I don't really think I've taken flights for no first Yeah, I mean, the time. furthest I've traveled and got some pussy was that late. But that's only because ain't shit further than L.A. Yeah. <laughs> like, that shit is on the fucking coast. But, yeah. Or well, California, I guess I could say. But um, I think I drove. I, I did a long-ass drive. Though. I drove, like, 11 hours. Yeah, I've, I've taken road trips. <clears throat> I've definitely taken road trips. But, I mean, you just asked the furthest. Yeah. So, I just jumped on the plane. That was just <laughs> what it was. Yo, so... um. Matter of fact, why you made me think earlier. So, what's the the most you've did and didn't get the pussy? <laughs> like, have you ever did some shit? Like, I ain't even gonna say I like out of character, but you just just went mad extra and didn't get the pussy. No, no, fortunately, and not even no no. Kage, I just I stopped trying. Like, if I put in a little bit of effort and I yeah. said, this shit not going to work, bitch, I quit. Yeah. You know? No, I mean, like, say a joint, like, I'm I'm going to put it in simple terms. Like, say a joint, say, yo, I want some star- some fucking Starbucks, but she live in Hampton. Like, oh, and you drive, like, way to Hampton to get her Starbucks and you don't get the pussy. I mean, obviously, it ain't that simple. But yeah. Like, a situation, like, that's what I mean by, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, no, I got to think about that when I get back to you next week on that one. Yeah. Yeah, niggas is I'm I'm a clown after this uh 
<laughs> they gonna fuck me up in the comments after this episode. But yeah, I mean, this one a far walk though. It was like a 30, 25, 20, 25 minute walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was young though. I was young though. I was I was hitting the jump, and um, this nigga. <laughs> I hit it before though. Nigga, why did you get the bus? Cause the but like man. <laughs> Niggas just act like the HRT didn't let you be you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, cause it won't that far of a walk. It won't, it won't like the the motherfucking tall woods. They won't that shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like it won't that far. It was like a twenty minute walk. Niggas can't walk. Niggas can walk. It. I mean, have yeah, When you at, younger, when you yeah, younger, I look at a twenty minute walk like walking to the store. Like probably food line, not the corner store right there. That shit is like four. I'm not walking twenty minutes nowhere. Yeah, because I mean, you don't I mean, even you don't even walk to the corner store, and that shit is literally. I'm lazy, b. That shit is, yo. Let me paint the picture. So that corner store from my house that he drives to is literally like parking in the back of Walmart and walking through the front door. Yeah, it is. That right. shit is. That's how close the motherfucking corner store is to the house. And like I this, get my fucking car and I drive. You know why? Because I pay a fucking car payment every fucking month, and we utilize that shit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, this nigga. Yeah, I I can definitely attest to that. You you damn sure ain't doing no extra footsteps, that, you know, fucking that you feel you don't need to. You're lucky my fat ass don't have a fucking hoverboard. When you say you wouldn't even walk to the car. Nope. It's 2019. I don't feel like I should have to walk anywhere. But yeah, I know they're gonna kill me in the car. I don't give a fuck though. I know they're gonna kill me. I was young. All this shit was like young years. I would never now, ever. You're lying. Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> you lie. You still want thirty minutes for some pussy? <laughs> Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ladies, if you like to take long walks on the beach, Ja is your nigga. <laughs> nah, they might get me with that. Cause that's my shit. <laughs> Anybody who follow my Instagram, they know. They know I'm. Oh, Jill Scott, let's take a long walk, ass nigga. <laughs> Nah, fuck that. I feel like Jill Scott was setting niggas up. The fuck we taking it? I'm not walking around Philly at night. <laughs> Through no park. Bitch, I know. <laughs> Jill from North Philly too? Bitch. Yeah, that North that what they, North Filthy. That's what they used to call that shit. They probably there. still do. I don't know. I ain't from Philly, but... Yeah, I'm not walking around Philly after dark in no fucking park in North Philly. With just you. <laughs> no. Hell no. That shit sound like a, a Cardi B setup. Oh shit, <laughs> yo! We didn't even talk about that shit. I, I I realized that as we was talking about setting people up. You see how I motherfucking do this? Yo, so yeah, let's let's we can do that, and then we get into the what was it, the double standard, the shit, and then yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that, yeah. But yeah, yeah we do that. <laughs> Cardi B slam dunking pills like Bill Cosby. <laughs> that shit terrible. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, the situation ain't. You know, I didn't. What it is, but. The I'm not even mad. Funny. Yeah, the memes the are me- fucking hilarious. Always memes. Anybody who's been in the street, like, I'm not mad at that shit, nigga. Like, any nigga who's been in the streets and shit, you know. Bitches yeah. set niggas up, they rob niggas, that shit happens. I just don't. I don't uh, respect niggas comparing that to rape. Like, That's not I, the same that, thing. that shit is not. That's the same. not the same thing at all. Like, you taking a, a woman's motherfucking. Yeah. Innocent, so whatever you call her, you, yeah, you taking yeah. her. F- no, no, sir. That's, that's, that's not the fucking same. Because yeah. a nigga can get yeah, you money trash back. if you think yeah. that. Yeah, a nigga, you can get money back. Yeah, like it's fucked up that you get like, your credit card. Like, yeah, your credit cards yeah. get stolen. You're putting shit stolen. Like it's, you it's lose a couple hundred dollars. Like, life yeah. goes on. Like, yeah, uh, now I'm saying you get drugged and robbed. Yeah, I'm not saying that's not fucked up, but to compare that shit to raping a woman, like no, sir. Now I did, let me before I even make this ludicrous ass statement. Now you good? Why you looking for that? Like. You can get money back. It's going to hurt. That shit might take a little time. You might not get it back as fast. But a woman can't get the motherfucking, that peace of mind back. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? She can't get the motherfucking, the emotional instability and shit that comes with being raped or being taken advantage of in that way back. So, I never let a nigga compare the two. Fuck that. But now. Um, yeah. So... What I do, and I didn't actually see the video clip, but apparently from what I'm reading the transcript, she did say this shit. She said that to get back at her ex boyfriend. Oh, she that tranny shit. Yeah, she would get him drunk and pill him up and have him fuck with trannies. That's rape. That's rape. Like, yeah, that's no, rape. that's definitely. 
That's right. Yeah. She so she's trash for that shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, now nah, that that's bitch, crazy. Bitch, somebody kill you. Like, I would kill you for that shit. Yeah, that's because you're taking away a man's manhood. Yeah, that's what like that. That's literally what you're doing. Yeah. So that's right. So you fucked up for that. You know what I'm saying? And and a lot of them. Robbery you know shit. I'm not mad about with that. Yeah. Man, yeah, sleep with training shit. And a lot of them, from what I see, already like fear their life and whatever yeah. the fuck. But. So now if I kill you and a tranny, it's gonna call it a hate crime. Know what I'm saying? Like, especially like now, this climate, I bitch, I react you literally to can't say yeah. nothing or much, like anything negative or disagreeing of that <laughs> lifestyle or they <laughs> at your neck. You know what I'm saying? Man, like, fuck that shit. Yeah. And it's but, not that I have a problem with y'all because I don't, but. Yeah, like, now nah, I people, feel like. Say, say what the fuck you feel. Like, if you don't like that yeah. shit, say you don't like that shit. Don't, there's a difference between saying that you don't like something yeah. or saying that you don't agree with something and being hateful toward it. People should yeah. be able to speak their fucking mind. If I don't agree with it, I don't agree with it. Exactly. As long as I don't treat you no type of way because of how you choose to be, then that's that's fine. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. And you know, I mean, you're not going to agree with everybody in life on every fucking thing. No. There's a lot of shit that I don't like. The people I talk to every day, I, that they do do and live by, I don't agree with. Yeah. But it's like, I, you, you on me. Yeah. Just don't try to motherfucking make me accept your shit nigga like yeah I don't have to accept it but I don't I don't gotta hate you for it yeah I ain't gotta hate you for it like, and I ain't gotta disrespect you for it you know what I'm saying that's that's like a, a parent not accepting their child's lifestyle if they doing porn or if they doing this or doing that or gang banging or motherfucking whatever was, the, whatever the case like they still chance love I get, I can be like I can tell you like I hate the fact that you do porn yeah but I mean, they come, still probably love their kids. Come to, yeah, come yeah. to family dinner on Sunday. So Yeah, they probably still love their kids. They just not accepting of the things that they do. But yeah. they don't want fucking like nothing to happen to them yeah. or no dumb shit like that. But that's the agenda that I see getting pushed every day. Me personally, that's what yeah, I'm taking. That's, that's what I say too. You know what I'm saying? Like it's to the point where like comedians is getting boycotted for telling gay jokes. Yeah, like my shit. nigga, I feel like equality is equality. If they telling black jokes... And niggas are telling white jokes, and they telling woman jokes, and they telling men jokes, and they. I feel like gay jokes is not off the table. Not at all. If you want to be equal, I, yeah. you can be equal. You take these jokes equally like everybody else. That's it. I can see if the jokes are some hateful shit, but the joke, the joke is a joke, and I feel like most comedians like that's their job. They they're they're the ones that are supposed to make light of shit that people are not yeah. supposed to make light of. Yeah. They supposed like, to make you uncomfortable. I feel like, like if you go to a <laughs> comedian show and at least one part of that shit didn't make you uncomfortable. Yeah, and I don't. He didn't really he did. touch it. He didn't really do his job. But was it funny? That's my. That's that's yeah, my. Was it funny? That's it. But was it funny? Because they talk about niggas all the time. Yeah. All the time. I can't wait to hear Dave Chappelle talk about Cardi B raping niggas because that's what she did. <laughs> yeah, that shit. Cardi's a rapist. That shit is gonna be. That shit gonna be funny. I just feel like. When she said that she made her ex do that shit, yeah. she was talking about Offset. <laughs> she made Offset fucking tranny. He got them all perked up. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, I don't. That's why his album was trash. <laughs> Get the fuck out. She got Offset fucking trannies and putting out trash albums. This shit is <laughs> terrible. That's horrible revenge. Oh man, now I don't. I I doubt she did that to him, and and that nigga was chasing, okay. chasing her the way he was. She probably put that shit on camera so he can't say shit about it. Like nigga, I wish you would say something. I release this video. Oh, she young bucked him. <laughs> well, no, that won't camera. That was a video, uh, tape recording or yeah. some shit, right? Yeah, niggas gotta stop. Never mind. I was about to say, I need to stop fucking trainees. But if that's what you want to do with your life, no. Like, if, if if that's what you're doing, stop. Stop like, fucking regular stop women. Hiding. Yeah, yeah, stop, stop, hiding. Yeah, stop, stop acting hiding. like, cause dog, if you notice, most of the niggas that's like the 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 super uh, I hate gays is yeah, they, niggas, like niggas, somewhere niggas, yeah. down the line, them niggas get exposed about fucking with like a gay person, like under the under the covers yeah. or whatever the fuck the term is. Like, <laughs> yeah, niggas, like bro, if if that's you, live your truth, my nigga. Like that's it. That's it. And understand that everybody not gonna be accepting of it, but it's like yo, uh like what's the shit that females tweet all the time? Like I can I can tweet niggas ain't shit while I'm laying beside my man. 
Uh, like so, yeah. I feel like the niggas be tweeting like like the shit about gay people <laughs> beside they man. <laughs> like whole time, yeah, like that's... they they tweeting hateful shit, but they laying beside another dude. I was about to say that's mad gay, but clearly that's obvious. Yeah, they just don't. I don't know if that's your truth. That's your truth, dog. Facts. We don't. We really don't give a fuck. Like people don't give a fuck for real. Let me tell you, I found I had a homeboy. Like my yeah. nigga, we was real cool. Did notice. I had suspicions this nigga was gay. Yeah, yeah. But never really didn't know out the way shit. Yeah, he ain't come at you so nah, he was like it is. But he was still did. fucking women and shit. So yeah. all right, cool, whatever. So randomly, one morning my brother calls me and was like, yo, jump on Instagram. And just when you see it, you'll know, just call me back. So I'm thinking <laughs> I'm thinking my brother put up some bullshit. Like so I jump on Instagram, I'm scrolling through. I see my homeboy. Now mind you, we was Shit, this was like 2010, 11? Yeah. So he was only like 24, 25. He was still young. Yeah. He got his head laid on this old white dude chest. The white dude was like 45. So he got his head laid on his chest talking about this is the lifestyle that I live and this is who I am and y'all gonna have to accept <laughs> me for me. And I was mad. <laughs> I was mad as a bitch. Heard that my homeboy was gay. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, I'd have got over that. Yeah. I was hurt at the fact that you felt the need to tell Instagram before, before you told yeah. me. Nigga, we cool. Like, that's y'all, terrible. Y'all ran training train joint together before? I didn't. <laughs> that's, and, but that's what I'm saying. That's the crazy part. Like, I didn't, but I know some niggas he did that shit with. So I know them niggas was mad. Like, <laughs> I would have been fucking furious. But that's what happened. Yo, when he dropped that shit on Instagram, the shit had like 1,200 comments. Because yeah. he had bitches that he had just fucked like weeks ago and months ago. It was like, nigga, what the fuck? Then, of course, you know, you got all the people being supportive. So, yeah, yeah. that shit was just it's wild. Just a, a motherfucking... That shit was wild. But I was mad. Like, nigga, a, you a felt gumbo like... of comments. Just a whole bunch of different shit. We really supposed to be homies and you felt like you couldn't tell me that shit. <laughs> Were you going to take some jokes? Yeah, nigga. Of course. Of course you're going to take some jokes. But at the end of the day, we... We still would have been cool, nigga. Yeah, dog. That's like, uh, what's the nigga name? The singer nigga. Uh, McConey. Like, he took a jokes, but we really didn't give a fuck. I mean, we, most of us, I think, niggas, I, I think niggas knew. <laughs> like, niggas knew that nigga was. But yeah, care. like, we don't, people don't really give a fuck. I mean, of course, jokes is going to happen. Jokes are going to fly about anything. Like, my nigga, you can break your leg and be in the hospital and tweet that you in the we hospital. We don't take, black people don't take shit seriously. Yeah. No. don't <laughs> take shit seriously. I've seen, I've seen them take, like, people, like, Dying like if a picture of somebody dead and like making a meme out of it. So I know like they don't give a fuck. Yeah. But they're jokes. It, you gonna get joke for what it is for whatever it is. Like, but after like two three days, that's it. Nobody's gonna give a fuck until you do some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> then they gonna remind you of the joke yeah. that they had for you a couple months ago. But outside of that, like if you get beat up on camera, like niggas gonna joke you. Yeah. The the first like you know what I'm saying two three days. You gonna have a people that you gonna have a couple people that's gonna kind of draw that shit out a little longer than that, but it's gonna die down once the next nigga get beat up on camera. Yeah, don't beat me up on camera, fam. But the next time you come talking tough on Twitter, if niggas you, is gonna remind you. If you that, beat me up on camera, I'm probably gonna shoot you on camera. No, I'm just joking, guys. I'm just joking. I mean, it depends on what state you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, matter of yeah. fact, we ain't gonna t- gun violence is not cool. We we gonna get onto the main topic, but random about people getting jumped on camera is mad funny. There's a video in Philly, niggas on South Street. I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened, but not only did they jump this nigga and beat him up, they took the nigga's pants. They had this nigga laying <laughs> with his dick out on the sidewalk no. after he just got stomped out. It was terrible. I don't understand what the fuck is going on in Philly. Yeah, no, the worst shit I seen. We gotta do better. The worst shit I seen with jumping, yo. Before we get to the topic. Uh, the worst shit I seen with jumping is, you know, like, all right, so hypothetically you getting jumped. Like, once you hit the ground, what's the first thing you going to do? Cover up. Ball up. Duh, I've seen these niggas stop kicking a nigga. I seen that shit. They unfolded <laughs> they, it. They, they said, hey, the unfold them. And unball the nigga. <laughs> like, bro, do you know the level of hatred niggas got to have for you? Understand that if you ever do me like that, <laughs> I, please make sure that you kill me. Please, just... No, can you sure imagine that, what would be going sure through your head if you just hear... You, niggas already kicking you, and you just hear, yo, unball this nigga. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 
<laughs> like, nigga, what? You got to think your life is about to end. Your life has got to flash before your eyes. All that bullshit you did, like, you wish you told your mother you loved her. You got to feel like your life is about to end. Like, no, that's when you got to, like, you got to... You start probably, fighting. Like, I don't know what you got to do, but you got to figure out something. <laughs> like, you yeah. know when you a kid and you get, like, beat up by, like, an older cousin? Not not like a real beat yeah. up, but, like, you just be like, all right, yo, stop playing. Yeah. Like, you get serious. Like, you got to do that. Like, yo, come on, fam. Like, why, yo, why would you do that? At that point, you got to look for, a, like, a break to make an exit. Yeah. You got to push a nigga and just break. <laughs> Depending on how many niggas it is, you sh- you should probably be able to get out of there because these niggas is probably tired from kicking the shit out of you for the last thirty seconds. You make a break for me, yeah. You just run until either somebody you catch you or you get to help. Yeah, I mean, and your best bet is whoever the fastest nigga is. Depending on how how far back behind the other niggas are to him. You might want to turn around and rock this nigga shit because he ain't expecting it. Yeah. Like, if you running and he coming up on you, just turn around. One quick little jump. You know what I'm saying? But if them niggas is right behind that nigga, then don't do that. Yeah, no. But, yeah, um, double standards. Yeah, of course. I'll let you start. Man, Cardi rape niggas. (laughs) I'll let you start. Cardi rape niggas. They're double standards in everything in life. Um, Should there be? For certain things, I believe so. Yeah, I agree. Everything. Call me whatever. Say all whatever things. Yeah, all things are not created equal. No. I don't give a fuck what it is. It's just that's the reality of life, and they shouldn't be created equal. Yeah, like I, I don't, I don't believe in like the the transgender boys playing girl sports. Fuck that. That's bullshit. That shit is just not cool. That shit is not like my nigga. You, you're you're gonna automatically dominate like yeah. whatever field you in that's like. Right. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. genetically, genetically speaking, or <laughs> scientifically, I don't know the proper fucking word. I'm I'm kind of faded right now. <laughs> I'm kind of faded right now. But scientifically, we are not made equally. No, we're not. Because I don't believe, <clears throat> and I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, educate me. Don't fucking ridicule me. But I don't like the fastest woman in the world. I don't think she can fuck with Usain Bolt. Yeah, I don't. That's what I'm saying. Like, and she's probably the fastest woman in the world. Can't nobody else fuck with her. Can she beat some men? Yes. Lisa Leslie's not gonna body shack in the paint. No. It's just not gonna happen. I mean the the the, the little dunk contest with the, the high school shit. Like yeah. they the fucked up thing is they gave her the, the 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 she won the trophy or whatever just for dunking. I mean that's dope. No, it's no, it's dope. It's dope as shit. Like I'm not trying to I don't I don't want to seem like I'm trying to take that from her because women don't they don't typically do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even the ones that probably can dunk. Like I remember the first time Lisa Leslie dunked, like that shit was a big fucking deal. Yeah. And she probably nigga, she probably dunk every day. It's just not on TV. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like But it's just like, I don't know, man. Certain certain standards and double standards I feel like should be in play. Yeah, and I feel like there are certain things that have probably been double standards for so long that probably could be erased. Yeah. Like the old thing that women can't fuck as many people as men do. Like Yeah, nobody, nobody cares. Like nobody, what we said last Nobody's asking body yeah. counts anymore. Like with the body counts, bro. Like we said last episode, if a if a woman starts fucking at fifteen and she fucks two niggas a year by thirty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's fifteen years. And that's just two niggas. Yeah, that's just two obviously, niggas. like that's 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 thirty niggas. So, and she only fucked two niggas a year. It ain't like she was really whoring. It was probably boyfriends, and she might have had one one or two random encounters. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, two niggas a year. That's not extreme. That's actually pretty fun. It is pretty normal. <laughs> pretty normal. Yeah, not these days. Low, actually. Yeah, that's one. The the women, um, like not. Like being housewives and and see that's what I was gonna say the same thing. That, it cooking and it shit, kinda like, depends on if you really still feeling them gender roles or not. Yeah. Um a lot of people just I think a lot of people try to mix it up. You you want and see that's how people want. They want certain things to be yeah. like that gender role way yeah. that it used to be and then some things they want equality on. It's just you gotta pick and choose. Nah, you definitely do. And it's like I mean, yeah, certain certain fucking double standards. Like the one thing that confuses me though, like the whole like feminist movement and shit, like certain shit about that. Like, all right, so 
Most of them is like, yo, I can do anything a man can do. But I see, and I'm not saying the whole movement before they scald the fuck out of me. But I see a lot of the same, because I got a couple female friends that uh, identify themselves as feminists. And, you know what I'm saying? I still love them anyway. Man, fuck nah, I'm bullshitting. But no, so it's like. <laughs> y'all can't do everything that men can do. There's lots of y'all I, I, can do. I see do. them saying that, but then they get mad if they see a nigga sitting in the car while his girl pumping the gas. What if his girl a fucking feminist and she self righteous? She want to do this. She want to pump the gas. Like, what he's for the fist fighter at the pump? <laughs> like, nah, you going you gonna motherfucking let me pump this? Like, what the fuck? Like, how many all female moving companies are there? Yeah. You you call it niggas <laughs> when it's time to move some fucking furniture. Landscaping companies. Yeah. Like. Uh, I, I mean, know. no, I know yeah. there's some no because my aunt she's the fucking yeah, she's one of the, the garden. I ain't gonna say which city she's one of the fucking head landscape managers and she actually out there in the field literally in the mm-hmm. field like doing that shit for for the city. You know what I'm saying? But I say that you know what I'm saying I and now again this is an equal statement. I say that women can't do everything that men can do. And the flip side of that, men can't do everything that women can do. No. No, and the crazy shit is, and niggas about to call me a fucking simp. I don't give a fuck. It don't matter. But, like, why the fuck do women want to be men and they better than us? Like, on an overall scale. Yeah. Uh, I ain't, no, I'm not saying, like, better, like, they're better people or they morally better. I'm saying, but, like, if you think about it, yo, there's there's a lot of shit that, that women contribute to to just... Day to day life and earth and shit that men could never. Oh, yeah. Nigga, life is one of them. Well, I mean, I'm of, not course, getting, nigga, of course, of course, shit is different. Yeah, that's so. a bit like that pain type shit. I'm, yeah, I'm glad women go through that, and not men. Like, <coughs> for real, I know women. You right though. I mean, I know it's a lot more. I think we said it before. There's a lot more women entrepreneurs. Yeah, we touched on that, and and that's another thing. Like, I know so many like. Niggas always say that, yeah, females want a nigga for their money. But I know so many women get into the fucking bag, like, on their own. Like, I know, like, for the most part, like, the females I know that want a nigga want money don't want the nigga for his money. Yeah. They got bread. That's they, they just want a nigga that they don't have to fucking take care of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they work hard to, to get where they at. And they not trying to motherfucking, they might have two kids. They don't want three. And they don't want the third one to be their fucking boyfriend. Shit. Know what I'm saying? So, but niggas, <laughs> niggas get so emotional. They just <laughs> see that oh, she she want a nigga with money. Oh, that's all she about. In a way, niggas are emotional creatures, man. We are. Women don't like <laughs> to acknowledge that, but men are emotional creatures. We not allowed to be publicly. Yeah, that's all. all it is. We not just not allowed. allowed to show it. Definitely can't do that. We not allowed. Yo, to show this it. is what I need, and and I guess it kind of goes with the double standards. Women, stop telling men how to be fucking men. Facts. Yo, we know how to be fucking men. Yeah. And if you around a nigga who don't know how to be a man, you still don't need to tell that nigga how to be a man. You need to get the just, fuck from just around. Just separate yourself from <laughs> it. Like, That's like niggas, we know how to be men. We're good at it. I've been being a man for fucking 33 years. I yeah. think I've... The same, I may not have mastered yeah. it. I'm still there's some shit I can learn. But yeah. I, I, I've read the rule book. I know the rules and regulations. The shit I can and cannot do. Like... Don't yeah. stop telling me how to be a fucking man. Yeah, and the same, like, niggas telling women, like, what's what the fuck being a lady or being a woman is. Yeah. Like, I can't tell you how to work, <laughs> how your pussy work. Yeah. Uh, all, you know how your pussy work. <laughs> yeah, all a nigga can do is just spit some shit at you he read. Or you, don't do this, just use some water. Like, That's it. <laughs> you know where I seen that shit at? Some other woman yeah. said it on Twitter. Fucking she doc- could be fucking wrong. Dr. Her, or some dumb shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Her like, pH balance could be all fucked up. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, that shit. Like, you... But yeah, I mean, just stop telling me how to be. Like a prime example was a conversation I seen online. A girl said that niggas talk too much, and that if she gets with one of your homeboys, you shouldn't tell them if y'all fucked previously. <laughs> so if me and you fuck, and then I see you out with Shorty, and you start to take Shorty serious, I'm not supposed to be like, "Hey man, I, yeah. I fucked her." You know what I'm saying? A couple years ago, it was nothing serious. I'm not trying to be a hater. Nigga, I'm telling you so you know, so you can yeah. make an informed decision about what you want to do. And I feel like I feel like if I tell you now, it it, levi- it, it fucking deviates away from later on some shit coming up and you like, yo, why the why fuck? Why the fuck didn't you, you tell me? 
know what I'm saying? Now, so like, say he done married Shorty and they done been together five years and then he find out you fucked. An argument come out, like, it's some shit like that, like. Now, or just somehow, somehow he find out, even if it ain't an argument. Now, he probably ain't even comfortable. Around you no more. He don't trust, like, like nigga. For those first five years of marriage, he probably left you at the crib by yourself with her. I mean, nothing happened yeah. outside of that because you respect your mans, but. Like, he probably left you alone with her. Had you, yo, her car broke down. He scoop her from work, bro. She worked right by your job. Facts. You go pick her up, take her home. Nothing happened. No funny shit. But now, every situation but, that you was ever with her, he's I, he his mind is fucking fucking with him. But I promise you, if a woman see you out with her homegirl and she know that y'all fuck, she's going to tell her homegirl. Yeah. And let her. She was like, that's some, that's some shit that bitches do. No, that's some human nature shit. Yeah. Like, you can't have a double standard or no shit like that. That's, like, it's, why the fuck would you, it's, if it's, especially if it's somebody that you claim to give a fuck about, like, why would you? And I'm telling you, like I said, if I really see that you fuck with Shorty, I'm going to tell you, not on no hater shit, but like, look, yeah. nigga, I see you fuck with Shorty, I just want to let you know that me and her, you know what I'm saying, we fucked in the past. Before you get it to won't the, no, Yeah, it won't nothing serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to let you know. And then he can still decide, like, all right, cool. I still fuck with Shorty, so I'm going to go ahead and continue to pursue that. Yeah. Or a lot of, you know, some people's mentality is, you fuck with my homeboy, you fuck with my homegirl, I can't fuck with you. Yeah. But you got to get your homeboy, especially if you know that that's your homeboy's yeah. mentality. Yeah. If I know my homeboy's mentality is, yo, if if you fuck with my homeboy, I can't fuck with you like that. Yeah. I have to tell you. Yeah. Like, I mean, I guess in certain cases, like, not speaking for me, I'm just saying what I what I could see as understanding as to why you don't say something like he might have been dating her for like a year and you just happen to never meet her that happens yeah you know what i'm saying and then you like yo she the one whoop, whoop, and then you meet and then she come to game night or something. but even shit. still like that shit come out it look crazy yeah. i mean i guess you can still explain no, but that's that. the first time you yeah. meet her they done already been together for like a year or whatever but that's what i'm saying if you choose not like, to say nothing and that shit come on come out later yeah. in life but i mean i guess it's easy to explain like my nigga Y'all had already been fucking around for a year. You looked like he was happy. Yeah. Ain't no... Y'all done moved in together. Yeah, it won't do... Yeah, so... So, I mean, it's definitely possible. Yeah. I mean, I guess there are exceptions to every rule. But by rule of thumb, <laughs> like, that's not a... But that's also, again, that's not something you can hold a double standard on. Because a female yeah, yeah. can make that same call. Like, she don't meet her homegirl, new man, for a year. And then she get with him, like, oh, that bitch is happy with her. Like... Yeah. Like, let's stop saying bitch, but... My girl is happy with her. Well, she might be. Yeah, whatever. You know, some women talk about. All each women other. aren't, but she might be. <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, that's again, that's not something you can hold a double standard on. So yeah, but no, nah, I mean, double standards definitely do exist. Some of them are bullshit, and some need to exist. Some need to just exist. Some need to exist. You need double standards in life. You do. Again, all things are not created equal. Nah. I mean, we, we, we fucking, I keep saying genetically. I, that's not the word I'm looking for, though. I think it is. It's, uh, what's the shit, man? Like, the <laughs> the scientific term. People yeah, genetics. Study. Like, I guess genetics. Fuck it, man. You know how dumb niggas be trying to sound smart <clears throat> using big words and shit. I might be one of them. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, so, yeah, you want to go ahead and give your... The positive words for the week. I mean, it's kind of hard we after a fucking it, week this way. I tried to get through the rest of the, this podcast that I do. The shit was on my mind, man. We fucking lost Nip today, and that shit hurt. That shit hurt. Um, rest in peace to Nipsey Hussle, man. Rest in peace. To, I'm not going to overshadow it either. Um, rest in peace to Tech Nine, too, man. For sure. Definitely a big rest in peace to Tech Nine. As a big URL battle rap fan. Smack DVD days. I've been watching since then. The Facts. come up, you know, what the I'm come up, cocaine, cocaine city, city all of them. <laughs> so, um, as a nigga from that area, definitely, definitely rest a piece of tech. Uh, champion is definitely gonna miss you as far as the battle rap reviews and shit go, man. Again, another nigga making a positive impact on the culture. Definitely. Um, it was tough to see. You know what I'm saying it's, it's tough to see good niggas, the niggas doing good things go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, nip that nip shit hurt. Yeah, I don't really got no wild shit to close this, the the shit with. Oh, well, I didn't get my words, man. You didn't <laughs> finish my shit. I was still in my. Oh, I'm sorry. Still in my bag, man. <laughs> but I'm feeling sad for niggas and shit. Um, 
with that being said, with the two deaths that happened this week, man, make sure you give people their flowers while they're here. Yeah. Before it's too late for them to smell them, man. Yeah. And I, one thing I'll say, I definitely feel like Nip was getting them. Yeah. F- for the most part. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like he was getting his flowers. Because I've seen, like, just kind of like on a day to day, people bigging them up. I yeah. see people retweeting news articles and shit. Like, yeah. Even mm-hmm. back when Jay Z, when he when Nip dropped his mixtape and he sold it for a thousand dollars a copy, like niggas thought that shit was and wild. Jay Z bought ten. Jay Z like, like yeah, I want ten. <laughs> they spent ten grand on this. So shout out to Jay Z yeah. for always being the goat of everything. Yeah, we got, I'm gonna shout Jay Z out at least I, once an episode. Just I was I was about to say that I Hope think we're gonna shout that nigga out. Oh, it's just the goat because every week he do some dope shit. So, um, what the hell do dope this week? Other than just being he out. he went to he accepted the Glad Award, the the um I forgot what Glad stand for. The, it's the LGBT community. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He accepted that for his mom and gave the speech about acceptance of that and how he had to accept it. So yeah. and then Ghost kissed Beyonce and Ho looked like he was going to go ahead and give Tommy that money to <laughs> yeah to kill the nigga. Yeah. Hove looked so uncomfortable. Power, power might be over after next season. Yeah, Hove about to get that, that shit, shit shut down. That shit might be dead. <laughs> Hove about to get that shit shut down. Um, so we need a Jay-Z. Why I said give him the flowers while he's still here. We need a uh, Jay-Z documentary while he's still alive so Facts. he can so he can take a look or at this. Or just himself. a tribute like they did Eddie Murphy. We got it, yeah. The BET Awards. I know he's not going to show up, but. I need a DMX <laughs> one too, man. I feel like the Hip Hop Awards dropped the ball with not uh, honoring the 25-year, 98. DMX dropped fucking it's dark as hell it's dark and hell is hot and flesh of my flesh better than my yeah. blood the same year. Two number one and albums in one year. I mean I know he was locked up, but they I feel like they should have definitely gave him the twenty five year. Yeah, you gotta get a man. I mean not the twenty five, the twenty year. Twenty uh, year. That was a good year for him. All right, both of them yeah. shits went like five times platinum. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. So yeah, man. Again, that's my word of advice, man. Make sure you give people their flowers and their appreciation while they still here to. To, to smell it, man. Tell your homeboys, tell your homegirls you love yeah. them. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't hold that shit back from them. Make sure you call your mom, tell her you love her. Just, Every, just, for sure. Just, just make sure, man. You never know when when person not gonna be here again. So yeah, because it don't gotta be no bullshit. Like anything could happen at any time to anybody. Yeah, I think Tech passed away in his sleep, so it wasn't yeah. no wild shit. Like they just, they went to sleep, nigga. And just never woke yeah. up. So speaking of giving flowers, before we go, you gonna give uh, Murder Mook his flowers for being the the best battle rapper ever alive. That's what he said in response to the shit Joe Button said. He's the he's the greatest alive Murder right Mook. now. I just I just watched Murder Mook lose the A verb, didn't I? Bro, he said he's the best battle rapper alive right now. Like at this current time. Not that he's a legend. Him and Adrian Broder hanging out together, aren't they? I don't know. But I know... Mook also said some dumb shit defending the the white girl. Um, oh, about saying... Yes, uh, Jules. Saying the N-word yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. So, yeah, we're going to put Mook and Adrian Broder in the same box. We're going to throw that box out into the middle of the fucking ocean. Yeah, and Cardi, I like you. I rapist. need you to stop talking. I need you to stop talking and stop going live and just keep making music and keep fucking winning, please, before they take that shit from you. Just stop talking. Just stop saying stuff. <laughs> just don't say things. <laughs> it was so unnecessary for her to say that shit. Yeah, just like, like I understand that people are hating. Again, people are not always going to accept the shit that you do. They're not always going to be happy for you. But you know where you came from. That's it. Or just you don't got to tell exact details yeah, of the situation. Like, just be like, yo, I came from. Cardi did shit. everything short of giving you a date and the nigga that she <laughs> did it to. Like niggas about to come out of woodworks. Like yeah, Cardi raped me. So. Yeah, I wouldn't even. Or if you go admit to robbing niggas, don't put the drugging part in there. Yeah, I, you know, I used to rob niggas. I had niggas set up to get robbed and just keep it there. Like <laughs> any street nigga know, like it's it's joints. I don't know if that page still around, yeah. but it's joints that was on back page that was that was yeah, their hustle. Yeah, getting but niggas you. there. You go to the end call and <laughs> 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 you go. 
You go to the end call. Shout out to back page, man. That shit was a fake address, and you get there, and four niggas run up. Let me get that. Like, bro, I was going to cash app it, too. I don't even got it on me. Hey, we about to get the fuck out of here, because he about to t- <laughs> He telling y'all way too much about life. Look, man. The crazy thing is, I know all this shit, and I've never used... Anyway, so... Tell your friends out. you love them, man. Make sure you tell them. Make sure you tell them this week. So, um, make sure you leave your comments under. Let us know your most embarrassing sex moment. Please do. I also want to know how far y'all travel for some sex. So. Yeah. So, matter of fact, anything that you want to respond to in this in in this entire episode. I know those are the so. two. I know those are the two. That's the two I address. definitely want to hear. Matter and, fact, and I want to hear your thoughts on double standards. I, I do. I want to hear their thoughts. I also want y'all to drop y'all favorite Nipsey song in please. the comments. Facts. Facts. Drop, drop your favorite Nipsey song because we need some positive vibes for that, man. So, drop your favorite Nipsey song in the That's comments. That's a fact. So, so before we go, let's toast up the nip, man. Oh man, me. Let's cup. toast up the nip. Yeah, definitely can't. Oh, it's on the corner left with the tequila. That's fucked up because I just bought that bottle this morning. Hey man, I didn't do that much to it. No, I did. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure they're gonna know. RP to Tech Nine, man. It's definitely RP to Tech Nine. RP to Nip to Nipsey, man. That shit still don't sound. That shit don't even sound real or right saying that shit. That shit tough, man. That shit tough, but we'll be back. Make sure you follow me on um, social media 80 Proof A Y O, the number 80 P R O O F. And I'm regular Ja J A H J U S T L I V I N G. Ja just living is all man. Y'all know, fuck it. I'm going <laughs> peace. <laughs>